We have a very special video today as I'm finally jumping into the hardcore World War II shooter Hell Let Loose for the very first time. So sit back, get some snacks, and enjoy watching me fumble my way through this complex and hardcore title. And if you don't have the game and want to try it out yourself, go to 2game.com using the link in my description. They're currently running a 41% off discount and use code PUNGLES for an additional 5% off of that. Alright, I'm fully anticipating to get absolutely wrecked, but let's jump in. Oh boy, right off the bat, the map looks pretty in-depth. All right, let's choose a squad here. And, whew, there's a lot of classes. Well, this is a lot of classes. This is pretty cool, though. So, it looks like I'm going to be a rifleman. It did give me a tip at the beginning that I want to stay a rifleman if possible. And it looks like you have different loadouts. So, well, at least warm up with a rifleman or get used to the game as a rifleman. So, all that red probably means good for my team. I'm assuming that means good. Uh, it looks like we're actually getting pushed back. Okay, so you choose your spawn location here on the right. 34... Oof. Okay, this is definitely a hardcore tactical shooter when it takes 34 seconds to spawn in. Probably longer. I don't know if it's in like waves, kind of like Day of Defeat was, or... I don't know why that's my reference point. That shows you how old I am. But that is my reference point to, for this. So we're going to wait and jump in and deploy and probably get sniped almost instantly. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. Okay, those are the server rules on the left we're losing. That's good to see. And you just spawned on a garrison. Garrisons are a spawn point that have been placed by an officer or the commander. So, yes, it is not... I don't even think you can spawn on your squad mates. You have to spawn on these, like, things you build. And I'm going to be honest, I know little to nothing about this game. So this is going to be an interesting... Hmm. That is um, one magical tank. This is going to be a very interesting video because I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know how that's different from my normal videos, but it's, it is somehow. Yeah, you definitely, uh, I'm going to crouch run, which you can do in this game, uh, apparently, which is awesome. And I also saw that you could lean two things that I really, really like to see. Okay. I have my grenades. I have, looks like ammo, a hammer, hammers used to construct blueprints, must be similar to fortifications from like Battle for Five and a shovel. And yep, is my melee weapon. Okay. Great. Okay, looks like we pushed up in this house. I don't know what this is. It's glowing. I don't know. It's like a radio thing. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna position ourselves here. I've heard a lot about this game just from viewers and comments, and uh, I've heard that I need to check it out. <laughs> but I never have, and I really don't know that much about it. So I know it's hardcore. I know it's very tactical and slow paced, and probably a little bit slower paced. Okay, okay, okay. It's quite the death timer. Looks like I can just let go probably just sit here and wait for a medic. I don't know how to see if there's a medic nearby. Probably doesn't show. And obviously my uh, positioning wasn't the best. Um, looks like I have some squad mates. I don't know if your squad mates can revive you or if it's just medics. We're, we're gonna let go. We're letting go. And we were unfortunately killed in action without even firing our rifle or even seeing the enemy. I have a, I'm assuming that's the case in a lot of the deaths in this game. All right, we're back in it. We're back in enemy territory. And yeah, my team's getting pushed back pretty severely. So we're going to run along these hedges and see if we can see an enemy. So yes, for those that don't know, this is a very slow paced World War II era shooter. I think I already said that. Tactical shooter. Whoa. Okay, the scoreboard is pretty confusing. I'm not going to get into that too much. You're separated from your unit. Stay with your unit to increase your chances. Man, I'm just running. I'm just spawning in. I don't know where they are. They should be by me. Planes going overhead. Definitely a very atmospheric game already, and I'm enjoying that aspect of it. I won't lie, these are not really the types of games I normally go for, these slower tactical types of shooters, and, you know, Squad is another one people keep telling me to try. I don't know, I'm pretty casual, I like my battlefield, I like my very casual, I only have a little bit of time to play, and here comes a tank. Is that a friend? I'm assuming that's a friendly tank. Okay. Didn't have a marker or anything, but when I mouse over it, I see. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Not normally my type of game. And, oh, there's a guy. Boom! <laughs> one shot, one kill. That's how we do it. I'm, a, I'm an absolute master at this game already. I just dropped that guy. Okay, I'm assuming it's mostly one shot kills, especially with these bolt action rifles. I like when the tip pops up and says, prepare for close quarters. That's not scary at all. They gotta be right here somewhere. Oh, oh, I'm dead. I missed. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, you killed me. Jeez. Oh, we're gonna lose. Defeat is near. Our HQ sector has nearly been captured. Probably gonna lose before I even spawn back in. Okay, we're back in. Oh, okay. We lost. 
Um, you know, if I was in from the beginning, that would never have happened. But my team, unfortunately, I just joined too late, was not able to contribute as much as I normally would have. Let's jump into another one. So far, pretty cool. Okay, so we are on the Allied side this time, or the US forces, and match warm up. I don't know if this two minutes means like it's gonna completely reset, or if we get to go up to like the line, the front lines, and it's blocked or out of bounds. The tanks are rolling out. I mean, everyone's kind of ready to go. This guy's waiting in this truck. We're gonna just, uh, we're just gonna wait in the passenger seat. What's up? So, um, how you liking the war? Wow, you can fit a lot of people in this truck. You know what this actually, this is pretty cool. You know what this reminds me of? Just looking at the transports and how critical they are, the supply stations. It actually reminds me of, like, Company of Heroes. For those who haven't played that, it's like an RTS game, real-time strategy, World War II, where you have to manage your supplies a lot, and you capture different points, and you can only spawn in, and there's trucks, and you can put your squads in them. Very in-depth, very cool and fun RTS, and this is kind of like the FPS version of that game, is what it reminds me of. Uh, seems pretty awesome. It also reminds me of older school Battlefield, where it's a lot more critical to stay by your squad, a lot more critical to communicate. And like I said, I'm a pretty casual gamer, I like my arcadey shooters. And these are sometimes a little too slow paced for me, for me, but so far I'm really liking the style and aesthetic and I've been craving some good World War II action. I still go back to Battlefield 5 all the time and this seems pretty fun. If nothing else, it's a good way to kind of mix up the traditional, more arcadey, fast paced, war zone, sweaty shooters that I normally enjoy, especially as I'm getting in my old age. My reflexes are shot. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the front line. And it looks like you, need to, you have to capture this hospice before you can push any further. It's like a tug of war, like front lines, where you can only take the next sector. Uh, I'm sure you can flank and uh, get in the backs and really do some damage and wreak some havoc. Can I get into this building? Nope. Okay, so it seems like only certain buildings are accessible. And we are right on the front lines, so they're going to be rushing in. I gotta say, visually, it's very appealing. It has a very distinct World War II era type of aesthetic and, or World War II shooter, I should really say. The explosions are really impressive. The smoke effects and stuff from them are really impressive. And the audio is great. Uh, I heard just a little bit of the cracking of bolt. <coughs> um, I lost my train of thought because a bullet went through my head and I don't even know where it was from. Let's, uh, let's try to get back up to our squad and help them take this hospice. We're taking it, that's good. Let's push back more into this back alleyway and try to flank whoever may be pushing into the side. I feel like there's got to be... Oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> I don't know if that ping was his helmet, but that felt good. That had to be a headshot. That felt real good. Open fields are death. You definitely... I can tell you want to stick by cover. So you want to look at cover because they're very... Real, they're very will rarely... Wow, I can't speak. There very will rarely be people out in the open. At least... I assume so. That seems like a death sentence, and that's a tank. That is a tank rolling towards me. We're just gonna lay down right here and just chill out. I'm assuming my grenades won't do much to that tank. And you can kind of ping and mark, and I think that just displays for your squad and it just kind of remains there, so it's not anything like them, you know, spotting in Battlefield, which totally 3D spots the, well, depending on the entry. Oh, there's a guy. There we go. Whew. Two little blood sprays. I like to see it. I like to see that little red mist because I'm a psychopath. But I did hear the ping of the helmet. Seems like when you get a headshot, you can hear a very distinctive ping of the helmet. All right, creeping through these bushes like a little snake and uh, see a supply thing. There's a guy. Oh, 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 that felt good. That felt really good. Man, the kills are pretty satisfying in this. Just a little one shot kill. Okay, looks like there's squads pushing in the south into the central point. And I'm assuming there's going to be enemies pushing into the hospice from this side. So we're going to be the ones that kind of stay back and defend the hospice from the north. Okay, so far it's pretty much what I expected. I really haven't watched many videos on this game, but you know, you hear World War II, more tactical, hardcore. You're just assuming you're going to be kind of in hedgerows and in trees, just creeping ever so slowly forward. I'm in a bad spot. Oh, there's... Boom, boom, boom. I think I got him. I think I got him, but we put a couple extra shots in there just to be safe. And that's why you shoot and relocate, because I totally saw his muzzle flash. We're gonna eat over these uh, barbed wire. Okay, let's get up on this tree. This is a really open spot. Oh, saw movement through those bushes. Let's just shoot wildly. Get him. So I started blasting. Yeah, I have no idea if I got him. Oh, there's another one. Boom. Just dropped it. I don't know if he's dead. I'm assuming so. We're getting a nice little streak going here. I think I just got an achievement for it. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is bad. Did I get him? <laughs> I think I headshot him. Wow, I just panicked and shot. Yeah, yeah, there he is. He was shooting, I think he was shooting someone else over my head. I don't even think he saw me. Whew. I called it this north side. We're going to be defending it. They're going to be pushing in pretty hard to try to take that. Oh, oh, oh. I don't even know where these... I don't know where these shots are coming from. I feel like my luck's about to run out. I don't know why I feel this way. This has been way too good of a run. Oh! <laughs> he was like glitching over that fence, but I got him. I got him. Whew. There's another one. Boom! Oh my goodness. Is this a... Uh... I feel like this is normally how it goes. It's like beginner's luck. Like you peak in your first and second round of a game when you don't know what you're doing. Then you start getting in your own head and you start doing worse and worse. I should relocate because I shot from this spot. So let's crawl forward. Gotta keep an eye to our right. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, they saw me. They saw me. I'm just shooting. Yikes. Get back. Oh, dang it. That was a good run. <laughs> that was really fun. That was also terrifying just creeping through those trees. But uh, that was a really good run. So my team was doing some work. I, uh, you know, I think I contributed quite a bit. I held them off in the north, allowed my team to take the western side, and kept them from the hospice. I mean, I got like seven or eight kills, I think, right there. So not bad, not bad. This is a hundred player server. So that is a fraction of the enemy, but still, we did our part. This is a very fun game. I can see the appeal a lot. Like I said, it's not normally a game that I would play as much just because I'm not as into these slower paced more tactical shooters I've really tried and I, I do like to play them every once in a while to mix it up so I'm glad that I have this in my library now as a as something to jump into when I'm feeling like I want to play a little bit slower and something a little bit different okay so you can enter some buildings and looks like I can even get up the stairs here I think there's already a teammate up there but this is this is what I'm looking for, a nice little sniper's nest, even though I have no scope. But I imagine these are really valuable positions to hold. Gives you the Obi-Wan high ground. And I'm just poking out here, I'm peeking out, I'm gonna get sniped. Oh, there's a guy. Way out there. Hold our breath. Oh! Oh! <laughs> a little double tap. I don't even know if they survived the first shot, but that felt good. That felt very good with the iron sights. There's nothing else, you know, I wish it was a bolt action. That's the only thing. But the grand is definitely awesome. It's so iconic. And there's nothing like hitting those iron sight shots in these types of games. I don't know what it is about them. Same thing with like Battlefield 1 for me. I just love rolling with the iron sights. This guy's kind of holding the line here at these logs and he's shooting. I really like how visible the bullet impacts are. I guess like the, the dust that's getting kicked up, it's very realistic looking at it. It's really cool and actually helps you. It helps you see where your teammates are firing. I wish I could man this artillery right here. All right guys, enjoy some trailer footage as I didn't realize my PC decided to stop capturing my footage through that round. So that entire recording was not captured, unfortunately. I will say I ended that round on top of the scoreboard, of course, with some like 50 or 60 kills. Just take my word for it, obviously. But sadly, my first experience with Hell Let Loose is cut short in this video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, though. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And I would absolutely recommend this game if you're a fan of World War II or more slower-paced, hardcore shooters. I'm excited to jump back in and was really impressed with what I experienced. That's it for me. Until next time.